Okay. Day. What is it? Dinosaur train. Dinosaur train. All right. So we've got um, a marker, some paper, and we're actually going to turn our paper so it's up and down, or a profile, because we're going to draw Shiny the shiny. dinosaur. All right. Are you ready to draw? Yes, buddy. Yeah, buddy. All right. Let's start, and we're going to do a curved line, kind of an S line. So we're going to start way over on the left of our paper, and then the top half. Yep. And then we're going to curve up and over to the other side. Go big. Yeah, go baby all the way up to here. Good. And then we're going to curve up a little bit at the end. Because She's got a little point at the back. Then we're going to curve this back down like so. Yep, good. All right, now back at her nose. She's a little different from the other ones because her nose comes down a little bit. So we're going to start at the bottom. Oh, yeah, okay. You make it a little longer. And we're going to curve up and back like that. All right, and actually that's going to come all the way up here because that's going to be her smile. Yeah, right there. And we're going to give her just a little lip at the end. All right. And then we're going to come back, not all the way to the point, but up a little bit. So maybe you're like, yeah, right in there. And that's going to curve out and come over and connect with the rest of her head. Awesome job. All right, now, back here, right in this area, we're going to do a curved line like that. And then we're going to do another curved line right inside it like that. Really thin one, yep. And then we're going to connect the bottom like that. Kind of like a football shape. And what do you think that's going to be? Her eye. Her eye. And then she has eyelashes. So I'm going to press down with my marker and then pull up and make three curved lines coming out of the end. Yeah, right like that. And then on the other side here, we've got one, two that you can see curved lines. Right on the other side. Yep. There. One, two. Perfect. That's a good idea. Let's do our circle. And it's a big circle right in the middle. And then it's got a little circle right in the middle of that. And that can get colored in black. Great idea. All right, let's go do our nostril. Her nostril kind of looks like a really squished eye. It's an oval, so it's a curved line. And then another curved line goes right back. And then color that in black. It's her nostril is black. Her nostril is black. All right, now we got to do her neck and the rest of her body. Yeah, and she is, what kind of dinosaur do you remember? Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl, nice. All right, right underneath her mouth line. We're going to come down. We're going to go to the bottom. So, yep, just imagine, dot, 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 right in there. And that's where you're going to start the neck, right at that dot, yep. And it's just going to be a curved line down. Yep, that's good, because we want to leave room for the body, so don't go too far. And then we're going to curve... On the other side, the other part of her neck down like this. And I need it too big. No, it's great. We'll just make your body a little smaller to fit in there. And I'm going to have my body like that too. All right, and then off the, let's go off the left side and we'll do her shoulder as a curved line. And we'll do the right side, same thing. A curved line on that side. Nice. Right, left. No. <laughs> left. Right. Right. Left. All right. And then we're going to do our line out. Three. Away from her body. A straight line out. Yep. Don't go too far because this is going to be just her arm. And that's going to curve or come right back in. So kind of like a letter L. Hold your paper if you need to. That's good. A sideways L. Yep. And then that is actually going to run into her 
stomach. We're going to have her with like her hands on her hips because she kind of bouncy. And so here, um, let's start right back up underneath here in the armpit area. And we're going to go straight on down and stop so we have room to make some. Yep, right there. And then have your arm connect to that. So this arm line. Perfect. So I have a little longer arms than I do. All right, now let's do the other line. So it's going to be the same as what we made for the arm. This line, and we're going to do it in the inside here to there, like that. Nice job. All right, let's do the arm on the other side, and then we'll go back and we'll do her legs. So it's going to come out. Out. Hold your paper if you need to. And then back in and towards the body. Stop out there. Yep. And then we're going to do a hand. And so we're going to do like a U line. Like a U line? Mm hmm. And then we're going to go bump, bump, bump for her fingers. Bump, bump, bump. Yep. And then we're going to do a thumb, which is going to be like a curve end line. Yep. And then we're going to go back up for her other arm up to the armpit. Yep, right up into there. And that's about the same height. See how that one and that one are about the same? Yep. Yeah. Perfect. All right, now we're going to do her back. And I'm not going to start right at the armpit. I'm going to start back here and I'm going to curve in. And down like that. I'm going to imagine it goes through her hand. Yeah. Yeah, yours is going to run off the paper, but that's okay because every single one's a little different. Yours is zoomed a little more in on her face. All right, and so then we're going to draw, I'm going to draw the legs real quick. So they're going to be lines down and back. And then on the other side, it's actually going to come up more. And she's going to have a little line here to show where there's two legs. What's your favorite dinosaur on Dinosaur Train? Uh, the one that has the spikes that is real hard. Yeah, you like and, the spiked ones? Yeah. yeah. Those are fun. It's pretty cool. Alright, so you can have some legs like that and hopefully you're able to follow those steps. Alright, now she does have a little tail and you can probably fit your little tail in there and it comes out and then goes back like a letter V, yep, or letter A, kind of like an A. All right. What are you eating? Now what's she missing? Her wings. Her wings. So let's go off the elbow, off the elbow, and we're going to do a curved line down right by the feet. You can just go right off the page. It's okay. And then on the other elbow, we're going to do another curve line. Hi. Down and back away from the body. Kind of like a cape. That looks like a superhero. A superhero. Yeah. And then we're going to curve that line back up. And I'm going to touch it right up back to her hand. And right up back over to the wrist. Over on her hand. Beautiful job. She got little, little ones. Yep. Okay. Is she all done? She is. Let's write our name. We're going to write it over on the left side this time. Put our signature. We've got three different colors here. We've got like a light blue, a light green, and then a darker blue. That one is the Ready dark. to color? Ready. All right. Go. There we are! Then we make our name.